All right, welcome back to another video in the Unreal third person shooter series. I'm getting tired of saying that, so I'll probably not start every video with saying that from now on. Anyway, uh, whoops, I forgot to get coffee. One second. No re, re films, no recaptures. We're going all pure here. So, um, in the last video, we did the uh, aim using the uh, rotation of the spine zero one bone so that's one way to do it the uh, uh, the plus side of doing it like that is that it's cheap because you don't need any extra animations so that's actually good uh, so and it's it's quite a procedural way to actually do it uh, we can also do it using aim blend space here we go we have some aim blend space going. Uh, if we go into this pistol aiming, for instance, you can see that this is actually a blend space. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up using a blend space, which also works. Um, and what's missing here is that we actually need to do some turning place animations as well, but I wanna get into the shooting and then we'll do some, that's like extra stuff that makes the game look nicer. We'll do that in the end. Uh, but yeah, you can see this, uh, this blend space is working quite nice, so we're gonna do it with this instead. So let's break the uh, structures one more time uh, by going into the uh, structures. Um, actually, let's not do that. Uh, you can do it if you want to. Break your structures and use it. Uh, I'm just gonna set it up now and then you can decide if you wanna use a blend space or if you're happy with the uh, spine zero one rotation. It looks quite the same to be honest. Uh, so if we are gonna do the blend space, we're gonna just do. I have a. I think I have a rifle. Actually, I think I have it in my animations that I'm using. Yeah, aim offset. I'm just gonna drag this one in to the master animation blueprint. There we go. Uh, and the alpha of this one is gonna be the aim alpha. So we only see this rifle stand aim plan space. We only see this if we are actually aiming. And now we need a vertical angle That's actually pretty much this one. So, can we just promote the variable? Uh, I'm just gonna call it player lookup axis so that I can differentiate it. Uh, and we only wanna set it like I know it's 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 silly stuff, but it's actually not. So we only want to set stuff if we are actually aiming. We don't want to check too much and do too much on the lookup axis. So this is the default one. The only thing we're doing is we are adding the control pitch input and we're doing a branch check, which is super cheap. That's the only thing we're doing, except when we are aiming. If we are aiming, we actually do more stuff. We're gonna do like this. We're going to replicate this one, make sure that this is replicated. And then instead of doing this one, we're just going to set this one. So for this, we don't need the aim rotation variable. So for this one, we only need the lookup axis. Then we go into our animation blueprint and instead of getting the aim rotation we're getting the we're getting the uh, player look up axis we're promoting to a variable let's call it yeah we can call it the same player look up axis and i mean this is too much stuff now. You don't need both of these solutions, you only need one, so you need to decide which one you want. Uh, 
player lookup access and we are gonna use this one here instead uh, ooh, 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 ooh. vertical yeah vertical so um, and let's let's delete so yeah now we can actually remove since we're not doing the we're not gonna do this one we're only gonna do the blend space one let's see if that works probably not probably forgot something uh, Yeah, so that's not working. Uh, doot doot doot. When we are aiming, we are setting player lookup axis. We are setting it here. We are executing it on the server. In the master animation blueprint. We are bringing it, we are setting it here. And we are setting, okay, let me just check. All right, uh, sorry about that. Lots of um, lots of uh, hard stuff here. Uh, so what we need to do apparently is we need to get the control rotation. So this is what we had from before when we did the um, spine rotation. Uh, what we need now is actually maybe that's why it didn't work properly with the spine rotation in the last episode the clamp yeah anyway stop it uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this and what you see here is we got the control rotation actor rotation we're gonna get the delta rotator from these ones and I'm not entirely sure what this does as you can see normalized A to B I googled a lot of stuff uh, to come to this conclusion but it somehow gets the difference between them and then we get the player lookup axis so and the Y is basically what we want because it's the up and down and the Z is the sideways uh, so we're gonna set the lookup axis we're gonna set it on the server we don't need this anymore you can keep it if you're doing the ro uh, spine rotation so this episode is basically if we want to use a blend space uh, now inside here we're doing the look up look up axis we're not gonna do the horizontal axis um, at least not now maybe we'll do it later but the horizontal axis is for when you're standing it, it looks good actually so we should do it later but I'm not entirely sure how to do it at this point but uh, so what we got here now is you can see there's 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 a difference between the two types of solution because the other aiming blends by the spine zero one. I guess you could actually try to blend by spine zero two. Maybe that looks better. Uh, maybe you will get the same result. But you can see now that we are only why are we walking? That's weird. It looks good at least up and down. I'm not sure if it's the rifle stand animation that has. That's weird. That's how to get in the uh, rifle stand animation. I want to try. Should I just ignore that? I have no idea why that is. Um, so we are not walking now. Is it because it's additive? Hmm. Uh, that's weird. Is it because of the rifle? Um, Is 
it because of the rifle aim. Because it looks like we were walking forward. Um, I have no idea why that was. Do we get lag from the pistol as well? It seems to be the... Uh, So if we're not using the blend space, are we still walking? We are, so it's not because of the blend space. We didn't do this before though, right? So I did something. Where did I do something? Let me pause and check. All right, yeah, it's working out. The reason was in my uh, aiming rifle I had it set to minimum minus 200 so the idle was at minus 200 which is usually backwards so the idle should be at zero and uh, since this we're using the zero is calculated by 360 so the backwards is here and here so the minimum should be zero So that means at zero we are idling. So now it works. Uh, it works with the blend space. Looking quite nice. Um, and yeah. Uh, so one thing you could try if you're using the other, uh, I'm not gonna do it now, but if you're using the uh, the other setup, um, with uh, the rotation, you could try to, uh, um, you could try to, s to blend it by not sp spine zero one, you can try to blend it by spine zero two and spine zero three, and see how that looks, because that might also look quite good. But I'm just gonna keep it like this. Uh, as you can see, the aiming looks quite good with the um, with the blend space. So I'm gonna go with that solution. Uh, it looks quite nice. So this is how we want it. We should do some turning place later, so we don't spin like this. And we should also do a maximum rotation value. But that's gonna be it for another video. And for some reason, we are not walking very quickly now. Uh, I just went so maximum 200 what did I set uh, the speed to mm. so I'm just gonna delete this overflowing stuff that I don't need anymore so but as I said you keep it it's gonna be fine you can still follow the tutorial if you want to do the the aim rotation in the uh, spine way, that's gonna be fine. Mm. It's completely up to you. So, for but for this solution also, you need a blend space. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to set up a blend space uh, because I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I got them with the rifle animation packs and what they're using is Basically, this is the setup. Um, you could do it yourself. Um, you can see the setup is minus 1990, minus 1990. And you have, I'm just gonna sh show you. So you have the different aim animations and they are all actually additive. So if we go into this one, you can see that it's it's an additive animation in the mesh space, so it adds to the base pose animation. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this works, um, but 
it doesn't entirely take over the, the uh, animation, it just adds to it. Uh, but it works quite nice if you have one you can use it otherwise just go with the spine rotation that also looks looks good so yeah that's gonna be it for this video let me know in uh, if in the comments if you have any questions or some suggestions or whatever and we'll just keep spamming videos see you soon